here with lightweight Charlie Serrano fighting out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, here downtown Ebor at the Hurricane Gym. Charlie, how you doing today? Doing great. How about yourselves? Doing well. Listen, we're, we're coming up on July 12th, which is going to be a tremendous uh, championship WBO lightweight Latin light, lightweight title for you against uh, Alan Martinez. Uh, you know, this is no news for you. Uh, this is something you've been waiting for, uh, fighting in front of your home crowd again, which is pretty normal. Talk a little about what you preparing for this fight uh, on the 12th. Well, you know, it's not nothing different. You know, every single fight, I make sure I go in that ring, I make sure I do my homework in the gym. Uh, like every fighter, most fighters that's dedicated, come prepared, you know, don't need to have instruction, hey, you got to do this, you got to do that, you know, coming into this fight, very prepared, doing my homework, go home, eating good, you know, weight preparation is fine, strength, uh, cardio, you name it, I'm up to date on it, so it's nothing new to me. You know, Martinez is known for a fighter, he's not really a fighter that fights tall, he likes to come at his opponents right away early in the fight. How do you plan on handling that uh, arsenal that's coming at you really early? Uh, you know, it, it, if you try to come with that a game plan, you know, it's it's nothing different than me. You know, I travel the world, and in my amateur career, you know, you name it, I fought all different types: awkward, pressure fighters, runners, softballs, right handed you name it. So really, his his game plan really don't phase me. You know, because I don't got no worries about it. I make sure I come into this gym. Be with my 100%, train my best of my ability, make sure I do my homework and I go in there. I don't have that nervous preparation. Oh, I'm scared about what he's bringing to the ring or whatnot. It's nothing new to me. Charlie, give me a comment about Team Serrano as, uh, you know, Carlos, your father, and your whole team is preparing you for this bout. What do you want to say about the chemistry of Team Serrano helping you prepare for this fight? Like, like before, you know, when we was training for uh, Carlos Rivera, you know, uh, my, my team always support me, you know, 100% in what I do, you know what I mean? They, they're with me through a thick and thin, and, uh, you know, now that we added a new partner to our, our training camp, which is Rick, he's one of the strength trainers here, you know, and a little bit of tweets, but, you know, nothing new, you know what I mean? We stay humble, we stay prepared. You know, we got a great team, you know, as, as one of my helpers also, Joshi and uh, Ricky Thompson, you know, it's, it's our family just continue to get big. And, uh, you know, we help one another and uh, we support one another. So when we go in that ring, we make sure we perform our best out of our ability to other people to see what we do inside the gym and outside the gym, you know, and it's, it's, it's a great feel. Charlie, you know, the WBO recognizes one of the main three belts of all the belts, the WBC, the IBF. WBO to give you this opportunity, a Puerto Rico belt, to give you this opportunity to fight for the belt, what does that, how humbling is that to you? What does that mean to you? You know, when, when they call me for, uh, to fight for this card, you know, for uh, uh, an opportunity like this, you know, I told me, faxed me the contract. It only took me three seconds. You know, as soon as I got the call, hey, I was already in the gym. And, uh, you know, it just, it's a blessing, you know, in, in my career to, to be able to get this opportunity. Like they say, you know, opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You know, so just want to make the best of it. And, uh, you know, come in the gym every single day and make sure I leave, that I leave everything inside the gym that I make sure I did my whole entire homework before before I go home. And, uh, you know, I, you know this, this opportunity is great. And it just, like I say, it comes once in a lifetime. And once you grab it, make sure you, you don't let it go. Because it comes in one time, once in a lifetime. Champ, we thank you for your time in this interview, and we'll see you July 12th. Thank you. Peace out, everybody.